When redesigning the House of Commons, Winston Churchill stated that we shape our buildings and they shape us. He wanted to keep the opposing sides in close proximity to each other. His point was how we design space influences our behavior and our experience. We design parks to create the desired experience. This video uses the park bench as a metaphor for designing a park to deliver the desired experience. We shape our parks and they shape us. The directions for this activity are fairly simple. The next time you visit your local park, find two similar or identical park benches that provide different experiences. Describe the experience and how they make you feel. For example, compare these three park benches at Coolidge Park in Chattanooga, Tennessee. If you weren't supervising your children playing, would you use this park bench? Would you feel safe sitting on this bench? Do you feel isolated? Consider the fight or flee response. Would you have time to flee? Would you feel safer sitting on this park bench? Do you have a commanding view of your surroundings? They are identical benches, yet they deliver very different experiences. Or consider these three identical park benches in a vest pocket park in Charlotte, North Carolina. Which park bench would you choose? Why? Do you want to see the street or avoid it? Do you want visual control of the main entrances or do you want to avoid having your back to the street? Where would you sit? In the formal gardens at Brookside Gardens, this photo was taken from one of two identical opposing benches. It provides a place for contemplation and reflection. There is little action. Located further along the walkway is an identical bench. It provides a different experience and serves mainly as a rest stop for people strolling through the gardens. Same park bench, different experiences. Consider this park bench at Discovery Park in Houston, Texas. Do you feel that your back is protected by the dense hedges? Could you envision yourself having a casual conversation as you watch people strolling by? Also at Discovery Park, would you feel as if you were intruding upon this person's space if you decided to sit on either of the remaining park benches? The number of people present can change the experience provided. Two people rest and converse along a path in the Japanese Friendship Garden at Balboa Park in San Diego. It is peaceful. However, the experience can change significantly when a crowd descends upon the scene. Plants grow and change the experience. This park bench is located in Centennial Park in downtown Atlanta. When the hedge is trimmed, it provides from a distance a nice view of people playing on the open field. With the block view, the experience is now one of privacy or solitude. The same type of benches in the same park are placed facing each other along the main promenade. Would you use them, and if so, under what circumstances? Again, same benches, different experience. Again, an identical park bench at Centennial Park overlooks the fountain as it erupts. However, sitting on the wall is closer to the fountain and to the action. Would you sit on the wall or on the bench? In downtown Charlotte, the park designer of the Romare Bearden Park designed this wall as seats. If park benches are not readily available, people will use the low walls as seats as shown in Balboa Park or at the Philadelphia Zoo. Illustrating the impact that the park planner has in designing the experience are the park benches located at Lake Artemisia near College Park. They are all facing the lake. Designing for other experiences weren't considered. One of my favorite park benches is along the Mission Trail in San Antonio. Do the rocks help define the space? Do you feel safe sitting here? Is your back protected? Yet the panoramic view is maintained. Note that the trash can is located away from the bench, reducing the likelihood of foul odors. In summary, we shape our parks and they shape us. 
the park bench exercise demonstrates the importance of designing space to create an experience. Identical park benches can deliver very different experiences. They can provide a variety of experiences ranging from privacy, supervision, safety, contemplation and reflection, or simply a spectacular view. Designing the park or facility experience complements the traditional recreation programmer who designs an activity within an existing park or facility to create an experience.